WGN's Dana Rebick is live in Grant Park where preparations are already well underway today. Dana. They are. It's almost a bit eerie and kind of strange to see all of this taking place, knowing that just in a matter of days, hundreds of thousands of people will be converging here at Grant Park. Again, a Lollapalooza opening Thursday the 29th and running through Sunday, August 1st. Now, we did have a chance to walk around the area today and see some of the setup taking place. A lot of activity going on, scaffolding going up, the main stage already uh, set up here at Grant Park. Gates opening at 11 a.m. Thursday with bands playing until 10 p.m. on seven separate stages. Some of this year's headliners on the main T-Mobile stage include Miley Cyrus, Tyler the Creator, Post Malone, and Foo Fighters. Now, this is the first large-scale event in Chicago since the pandemic started. 400,000 people attended Lollapalooza back in 2019. This year, things will look much different. People must bring a printed proof of a COVID-19 vaccination or negative COVID test within 72 hours to get into the event. Masks are required for the unvaccinated and there will be cashless concessions here. So attendees will have a wristband. They have to activate that ahead of time online to add their payment information. Now, when it comes to COVID, daily cases have tripled in recent days. The Delta variant primarily to blame. City leaders and Governor Pritzker, though, say they feel com comfortable and confident with this event taking place, but not everyone thinks it's a good idea. If you're vaccinated, uh, it's safe uh, for you to attend something like this. I intend to go to Lollapalooza. Um, I'm bringing my wife and a few friends to Lollapalooza. So I think it's okay. But again, it, people need to be aware that we are not past this pandemic. I think it's a bit too early. Uh, I'm not a medical professional, but I, I don't think that they're quite happy about the way things are going with public events at the moment, so I, I'm, I'm against it personally. Now, just a heads up, there are already some street closures in place here around Grant Park. Uh, Balbo and Jackson from Columbus to Lakeshore Drive are now closed through August 6th for the setup, the event itself, and then, of course, to tear everything back down. So just to be aware of those closures if you are in this area. Live at Grant Park, Dana Rebick, WGN News.